over skating the puck to get it out to center. I'm Tom Shields, and let's look at hockey and the Isuyu's Coyotes. And they came up with a magnificent effort this past weekend, picking up three out of a possible four points. Friday night in Kamloops, they played their best road game of the year, and this is the most amazing stat of all. When the Coyotes went up two to nothing in the first period, it was the first time this season that they had led by two goals. Jack Henderson was in on all three goals. On the first goal, a short-handed effort by Blake Astorino. That started the scoring on that one. Jack was in the penalty box for cross-checking. Then he came back and scored with two minutes to go in the first frame. And then he added an insurance goal to make it three to one with five minutes to go in the third period. Team played a very strong defensive game. Saturday night at the Sun Bowl saw one of the best hockey games and most exciting in the past few years as the Coyotes of 100 Mile House decided to play to a two all overtime tie. It was an offensive hockey game with standout goaltending at both ends. Coyotes netminder Kurt Doyle made the save of the game with 45 seconds left when he caught a shot from close in that most of us, me included, thought we were picking it out of the net. Fans giving a standing ovation on that one. And then in the overtime, Brandon Della Polera came in and brought to the slot, scorched a shot. That was heading into the top corner of Jordan Wilde, the Ragnar's goaltender. He kept the Coyotes from getting the win when he snatched that one out of thin air. Yes, folks, I said, thin air. It was an unusual weekend and that head coach, Dean Maynard, was away. And assistant coaches Dan Dahlgren and Scott Bolin took over. Don't read anything into that as the Coyotes were long overdue to get into the win column. Coach Dooner of the Wranglers knew the Coyotes were coming along as his team was beaten recently by Kamloops. I said on the webcast that the most unusual aspect this year is the no wins in 17 games. Real rarity, and in most part caused by the lack of putting the puck in the other guy's net. On most nights, the other part of their game is there, although they can still cut the opponents down on their shots on net. Every team wins games with some luck and decent bounces here and there, but the Coyotes have had little of that along the way. When Michael, when the Wranglers rather scored their second goal on a power play with Michael Greenwood in the box for holding, it was plain to see for the fans on the seating side that Greenwood had his stick being held by the 100 mile house player. However, the referee was on the other side of the action and couldn't see that. It was in full grasp of the Wranglers' hands, and they were nearing center ice. A tough call and a costly one for the Coyotes, and they've had their overly share of them in the first 19 games. Now, with a bit of goal-scoring prowess, this team really should have about seven wins out of 19 games, and they'd be much closer into the hunt. So what is encouraging, though, is that most of the Coyotes' bad games have been in September, except for the train wreck in Princeton just over a week ago. This weekend, it's on the road to the East Kootenays for the Friday night game against Creston Valley Thundercats. They sit second place in the Mountain Division, but listen, at the same time, they are in a four-game losing streak. And then Saturday night, the Coyotes head further east to meet the third place for any Ghost Riders. They have lost their last two games as well. So the Coyotes, oddly enough, go into the weekend action as the hot team. Go figure. Yet there is no denying they are as good as their opposition on most nights. But if they can find that scoring touch, keep the string of getting points going, and we'll see what happens as we work our way through November. Captain Evan Della Polera also thanks the fans for sticking by the team when they had this rough start, and he says, it sure is encouraging to hear the fans urging them on at the games. Next home game is Wednesday, November 20th, Summerland in town. Last time they were here was one of the worst games the Coyotes had, losing 8-2. So they might want to show the steam that this time they're playing a different team. 
the Oliver Suyu's Wine Country is game sponsor. And the Suyu Signs logo stitch, cactus irrigation, chuck a puck jackpot, nicely up there at $650. I'm Tom Shields on the Coyotes on Cairo.